Welcome. Gordon is now being blamed for one death after making landfall near the Alabama-Mississippi border last night. Natasha Chen joins us live from Pascagoula, Mississippi. What are the major concerns for people there today, Natasha? Well, Aaron and Suzanne, uh, people here have largely escaped damage from the heavy winds and rain last night. But throughout the region, we are seeing, seeing nearly 30,000 customers without power, most of those folks in Mobile, Alabama. A strong storm is now being blamed for at least one death. In Pensacola, Florida, a child died after a tree fell on top of a mobile home. Gordon made landfall late Tuesday night, bringing fierce winds and heavy rain to the Gulf Coast. You get the six and the seven inches of rain in Mississippi, then I'm going to look for water to get about a foot to two foot up underneath my house. Gordon is a tropical storm, but three states, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama, are still under a state of emergency. As it makes its way inland, a big concern today is the potential for life-threatening storm surges. So we're watching the uh, the waters right now because those winds are shifting on us. As the storm makes, it, makes its approach, starts to go inland, uh, we'll start to see wind shift and we'll see the tides come up. In Louisiana, the governor has activated 350 National Guard members. In New Orleans, floodgates were closed and a voluntary evacuation notice for areas outside the levee system was issued. Well, yesterday, about 9% of oil production in the Gulf was shut down when personnel had to evacuate some of those platforms and rigs. After the storm passes, those facilities will all be inspected. The facilities with no damage, their production will be back online immediately. Suzanne and Aaron, back to you. Natasha, quickly, uh, for you there in Pascagoula, I know the storm has passed through. Uh, looking behind you on that dock, there's a little bit of rocks and debris. Mm -hmm. Was there any major damage that you saw there? Right. Not, not a whole lot of major damage, no. And we saw one boat owner come up this morning and check his property. A couple of others actually stayed on their boats overnight because they knew that this was a tropical storm and nothing near the type of situation they had during Katrina when a lot of them moved their boats away from this dock and a couple of them ended up in the street, I'm told. So this is a very calm and lucky situation compared to what they've dealt with in the past, Aaron. All right, Natasha Chin reporting from Mississippi. Natasha, thank you.